Hi Molly. Hi Jenny. Closet confessions this week. Who am I channeling today? Looking like Iris Atfall. Oh, I love you. <laughs> and I loved Iris so much. I don't know how many of you knew Iris Atfall. She died last month, age 102, but she was this icon of embracing color, texture, pattern, jewelry, layering. Look at this color on color block yellow. And look at that magnificent pink and green outfit. You can wonder where I got today's inspiration from. And her way she wore it with black and white, incredible, with those wonderful textures. And what she did with feathers, and she did this amazing collection for QVC, and I so wanted to buy it and I didn't. <sighs> the only thing I have of viruses is a rug downstairs, because she did a collection for ruggable, amazing rugs. But this is my first outfit in a homage to Iris. And I think some days we could dress more like Iris. So would I walk out the house like this? Yes, if I just felt I need to spark some joy, look at me down the street and think, what the f but actually think, I felt a bit uplifted, and that's what dressing can do. Iris Apple's figure, let's talk about it. She was very tall, she was skinny. She had very broad shoulders, narrow hips, and incredibly long legs. So what was she, Molly? Close horse. A total close horse and everything looked good on her. Now I'm a slightly different shape from Iris, but I'm just gonna go for it. So first of all, there's something shiny. She would always have feathers here or just, there was this incredible emphasis that if you only ever saw her face and around her decollete, you'll get the full impact of her style. I'm gonna do a mad heel and I'm gonna go here for a heel you have not seen yet. This is ASOS by the way, and this is a Prada heel which I got dyed and I just thought one day I will want Trini London yellow shoes. This is our colour, Trini London yellow. I'm going to put on top something pink. So is that enough to be Iris? Absolutely not because I've got no necklaces on. Let me put some on. Do I have everything, anything that's huge and green? I've got, oh, I've got these. She did necklaces and she did earrings, didn't she? Yeah. Let's see her necklace earring collection. It's a good one, isn't it? I got this with Lila in the market in Madrid and they do brilliant vintage jewellery and they were, I think, 60 euros. I've got on a little bit of schmuggy flush blush on my lips and my cheeks, on my eyes. I've got a little bit of strength and a little bit of vision. There's either that as an idea, because she loved texture. I feel that's a bit, do you feel that's irisy? Yeah, but why start with just one? That's very true. That was her moment. She'd layered and layered and layered. It's all about the necklace layering. I'm not disinclined to add that to the equation. What do you feel? Have we brought the green of the dress onto the top of that? Yeah, so nice. I mean, sort of have. We could stop there. Let's stop there, because otherwise I won't have enough jewellery left to do the whole thing. <laughs> but now I'm going to think she did do glasses, and we can't not do glasses with Iris. Now she had her own set of glasses, so... For this, I'm just gonna put my hair up. She always had the best hair, Iris, but she never had a lot of hair. It was always, everything was about showing the face and not having the hair overwhelmed. So do I just continue the green? Have the earrings like that? And am I irising? So amazing. I'm irising, aren't I? Not irising. I'm irising. I feel the vibe, the energy, I'm irising. We do it for ourselves to change our mood. We do it to enhance the lives of others, to make them think, wow, she's just going for it. Some people might think, who the f do you think she is? That's okay, that's all to do with them. But this is my look for today, Molly. I'll take you straight. We've got a little Essentials Antwerp coat from last year or the year before, my ASOS suit, which I've got top and bottom, and then it's about this necklace layering. And I've layered a really old Miu Miu necklace with a Liat Ginsberg necklace, and glasses are by Maud in Australia. And shoes, a little bit of acid yellow. Why not? All right. Okay, next. So starting with the basics, let's look at that image again of what we want to emulate. Here's Iris in red and turquoise. Such a genius combination, I love it. My drawer of turquoise. A really old Ericsson Beamer necklace and I used to wear this on its own. 
loved it so much. It was incredibly precious. It took me ever to save up and get it. Now you can buy them in every accessorized store, but at the time they didn't really do this. So I have that there covering that. Don't know if I want that there. I think I want that just covered. Then I'm gonna to go to a little bit of, I think she had yeah, one she there, didn't she? It, she would have done, taken it to the Zenith. So I'm gonna just get that there and see how many times I can wrap it around me. Cause the thing is, it's never about anything thin. It's about this layering. So I quite like that because I want to have this coming down this long. And then this is another one. This is my mother's. Does anyone remember the brand Ken Lane? A friend of mine actually just bought his apartment in New York. Now, will that get around me twice? <laughs> ugh, ugh, ugh. Yes, it will. Okay, so let's see where we layer that. So now I'm beginning to get texture and everything. And then Molly, you thought of this. What the hell? Let's put a brooch on too. So let me just look in the mirror here and think, where does that go? I think that goes in the middle where I've got the hole. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, that's a motto, <laughs> I'm sure, that she had. Cover everything with something. Yeah. Bangles and glasses. Bangles and glasses. Let's just do a bangles and glasses. Dinosaur in Australia. If I put these on, they might not come off, but let's just try it. This one is very small. Oh my gosh, it's anyway. Oh, might be staying on the whole of this filming now. This is really dangerous, Molly. There were bangles like this, and I don't have so many anymore. On a rock, rock more did a range, but from far away it looks like some turquoise. And Carla would be chuffed that we're getting her in on an Iris Apple moment. Now, red and green should never be seen, but turquoise and red can be okay. So let's try some Swainy. I can't find Swainy, so I'm doing Rossi. It is actually a great shade, and I think it should be matte and not shiny. And the red with the turquoise, I'm kind of loving. There we go. Is that just too much? No. No, you don't think so? No, you don't I don't think, think the adding so. in of the yellow. Oh, hell, what the hell? Let's just do it and see. I think because they're the same colour and they're bringing in the gold from the okay, bangles. Right, yeah. so no, I don't have red glasses. I think Iris usually did big black on a lot. I'm doing red with red. What do we think? So fab. Yeah? Yeah. And it's that framing. It's all about here. I mean, you know, just think. If you are somebody who generally is seen just around here, then think about how much you dress the set all about dressing the set having your eyes wide open a pair of glasses if you need them actually opens your eyes up even more because they can be magnified through the lens having lots of bangles i need many more bangles but it gives you the inspiration of it and it is that mad look you might think at this stage it feels a bit hippy dippy i could wear shoes or boots i've just got the orange on because i wanted in fact to wear a red shoe but i don't have one what do you think Mom? love it you do i love this look I do. i'm sort of mad history teacher but I'm also just enjoying it. And dressing should be about having fun. Iris's yellow look. She loved yellow. How much do I love Iris that she loved yellow? Now this, I could put underneath this yellow to make it more Iris, but I want to just try yellow on yellow on yellow on yellow because I have a new yellow suit. This is essentials. Antwerp with an old Serena Butte shirt. I used to have the trousers when I had that car crash in LA. The trousers had a huge rip. So. I'm going at the moment with yellow on yellow on yellow on yellow. I've got this huge, fabulous thing that I was given by a tribal, wasn't I? I believe so, yeah. I think I was, and I didn't wear it because it was the wrong yellow for us, but now it might be the right one, hey? It's just fun, the texture as well. The texture is fantastic, and that kind of thing right up there. I like the kind of where that's heading. Yeah, do we like where that's yeah. heading? Now, this is a different yellow. No. I don't know. You don't know. I don't know if it's too much. I'm oh, sorry, did you, did you just use the word too much? I know, I hated myself as soon as well, I said it. Well, it's just that it is for our sensibilities. We feel it's too much. But let's just challenge ourselves, because that's what this is about. It's the challenge. <laughs> it's a challenge about not strangling myself as I put on a necklace. Over. Or over, oddly, something to sit upon. Yeah? Yeah. What are we thinking? It's outrageous, but I'm not against it. Now, I have one final piece. Shall I show you? This is also a shape of jacket that Iris used to wear, is that slightly sloping shoulders because she had such broad shoulders, so she really suited the sloping shoulder moment. So let's do that over like that. There, and I'm gonna just put my hair right back because it was never about Iris's hair, was it? <gasps> Are you appreciating it now? I'm appreciating it. Are you appreciating it? Do we think this is too high up? I'm sure a lot of you are thinking, should it be underneath, Trini? I wish you'd done it underneath. And I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But Chanel would always say, take something off. Are we going to would always to... say, add two on. She would, wouldn't she? <laughs> so do we need to add something else on? I what about the Leah? Is that better? 
I, I think so. It might be, not it? I also don't know if the top necklace is just the wrong colour. This one. It's a bit mustardy. Thank you. I know. It is. And Iris would like the right colour, wouldn't she? That could go between those two where I've got a little gap. Mm -hmm. What do we think? Are we feeling it, Molly? I way prefer that. To you the do. Beads. Okay. My really old friends from Prada, which I love these so much. I'm just thinking, do we want a little bit down below? Yeah. You know, just that little continuing the texture a little bit longer. It's yeah. all come together. It's come together. <gasps> okay, my hair is not the most important thing in here, so I'm just going to kind of scrape it back. But if I'm looking at wearing this outfit, I could either wear it very cleanly or I could just go to town. Clean or go to town. Which one are you? Tell us how you're feeling as you're watching this. Are you just looking, thinking, fabulous, but I'd never do it? Or are there elements you could consider, like the tonality of getting the right tone of necklace, the glasses, do they sit with it well? I love these Orion Simkai. So I'm playing at the moment, Mole. I'm just looking at the idea of purples, and I don't know if we saw Iris in anything with purples in it, did we? Purple and yellow. I don't know if I saw purple and yellow. Purple yes. But you know, what we're doing is we're saying, hey, Iris, we're now, we're now channeling, we're feeling you. So let's now just go to a place where we're thinking, could this be where Iris, Iris might have gone? So we're heading for this. Oh, yeah. Which I sort of just love that texture, pattern, all the purple is coming together. Would I have some strong earrings? Would I have a necklace? I had a purple necklace here somewhere. Uh, and just having that little shininess right at the top. So doing it very tight. So it's sort of at the top. It could just be that height there, like a kerchief. So that could just be a simple, you know, Iris just having a little play up. And we could go for rings. Yes. We haven't done rings. Try this earlier. is a purple look she did. Oh, that's lovely, that look, isn't it? What do we think? Yeah, nice. Do we like, do we think earrings as well? What I think it's just thinking? how you're feeling that day, yeah. whether you would take it to the max. Yeah. Because there's some photos I've seen of Iris where she's just done strong colour. Yes, she has. And not she? worn as much jewellery and done yes, that's bangles and glasses. Yeah, that's always. true. So therefore we don't need this. But I you like I mean? it. Do we need or do we like that? In fact, I like the added no, texture. You know I don't like Molly. Sorry, I never disagree with you on that. I don't I think it's neither here nor there. So Why don't you tuck high. that down? Tuck this down because yeah. it will be on the wrong place on my neck. Fine. Just there, and then this is higher, like mm -hmm. that. And so then that's there. Your neck. it just feels that it's meant to be like that that's there i sort of i'm feeling an earring so at the moment i'm very micoed but when i put this on i'm thinking i want more of a plumminess which is where molly is wanting me to head like that i don't know if i would go darker i could go as dark as munchkin munchkin okay let's try. although my eyes are sparkly with this one a ah. bit darker how is that? Yes, I think I like that together. So final look, head to toe. I would probably have purple tights as well, but I've got these old Zara shoes that I took off the back and some very old Victoria Beckham trousers. And this is from Comte de Castle. It's all about here. We've put on that plummier lip and we've got the glasses on and we've just framed the face with jewels and texture and pattern. So Iris was prone to these amazing sort of big roses that were actually a part of her outfit. I sort of want to have it here just sitting there but I can't. So I'm going to use it as a bag at the front. It just adds that layering element. Now I'd like something higher up here but this is orange and I wish it could be pink. This is an old Liat necklace. This is something I got in a market somewhere. More pinky glasses like that. Do we feel that? Yeah I love that. <laughs> it's not really about the hair. It's about everything else like that there. I don't know about this is the wrong colour. I might take that off. I think I want it to be all one colour. Yeah. Like that, you see. I agree. And then this here, just a bit more up there. The bag, having centre stage. It is quite wintry and these sort of, I think there was an element, Molly, to Iris, where I never saw her dressing where you sh she showed her arms, etc. Yeah. And a lot of the looks, you kind of thought, my God, isn't she hot? But she loved that volume and you get that volume with, you know, faux fur, you get it with sheepskin, you get it with feathers, all these kind of things she would use in her outfits to give this flamboyance around painting the picture around her, like the portrait. 
of ours. I literally look at them and I think, are these the Zara or are these the Prada? Prada. They're the Prada, yeah. They're slightly the wrong color. That's why I had originally brought in this, but these, that's too dirty, that's too cool. This is neutral. So if you're looking at pinks, by the way, cool, warm, neutral. And I think I should be neutral with the slightly warm mm -hmm. and take away the cool. And that is all right, that sits in between. The thing here is that just that isn't enough. It would just feel bitty and it's not the over the topness that makes it iris. So I'm really trying to just get those thicker bits of the necklace at the top like that without strangling myself and then thinking what I fill in with. I'm loving the colouring that I'm doing now. And I'm tempted to think if I go that colour, could I also go the colour of the green and does that fit within the plan of just tonality? But it's sort of still not there yet. What I have that in green. Mm. Where is everything else from? This is Liat Ginsberg. Um, and then underneath our turquoise I got in Colorado or in Utah on the Navajo reservation. They have a really great shop there that all the locals have fantastic jewelry you can find. So that's kind of getting there a bit. Yeah, yeah. pulling it up. I just don't want these little lines of thin necklaces underneath. So just making more. It's not going to stay, but I want to just make more of the moment. So that's kind of nice because that, that homage is the roundness of Iris's glasses and it's got the twinkling of the sort of teal sea greeny colour. So as a modern homage to Iris, I'm sort of liking it. If we look full length like this, trainer on, I've got, this is from, what's it called, Molly? Stoned and Wasted. Stoned and Wasted, it's sheepskin. This is Dries Van Noten. And I've just got on a M jogger. And I sort of like that. That's probably the most modern, I feel, of all the looks we've done, Molly. Yeah. And mo the most wearable, wearable. to me. Yeah, you, the most I wearable. I see you doing this on a Saturday stories. Exactly. And it's that combination of the trainer. It's not trying to be too satin shoe, etc. And it's how you can... Yeah, I like this look too. I could wear this look. Definitely. Should we do a last one? Yeah, I one more. homage to black and white. Let's do it. Or pearl. She loved a pearl. Let's talk black and white. So I think what I've deduced, and let's look at some of Iris's black and white right now. Full length, you could say it's a little bit more goth. I'd love to have much more up here, but I quite like the fullness of the coat with the narrowness of this Zara dress. Nothing like taking a belt and making an Iris kind of necklace. So I love the idea of that. I think it works and I'm feeling that I'm channeling Iris. And then I think I'm putting that, that there. So we're building up the texture that I saw in that black and white polka dot outfit. I think it was a dress, wasn't it? Yeah. I'm thinking, could I sort of add that across as another kind of necklace, you know, that just goes across there? What a sash. I'm not saying no. <laughs> I'm not saying no to that. You know, it's like, what the f is that? But yet, it's something quite interesting. Darn, oh, that's not very nice of it. Okay, there. This to me, I don't know now if I've gone Iris meet Madonna when she's older. I feel she's perennially ageless um, and she's doing her stuff. You know how Madonna also, let's go and play in the Matrix. Where are these from? Because you wore these on a Friday 20 and everyone wanted to know. These are from a little shop in Venice. Not necessarily the most flattering. Where's that from? Where's that from? Where's that from? And there's something about Iris when we look at her wardrobe and we think, where's the, how'd she put that together? And so this might seem a real melange of things, but the joy I had putting it together and realizing the belt can become a necklace. What I've realized now is if only I'd started in my belt drawer to make my necklaces, how much quicker I would have become Iris. Play, play with the maddest things. Have fun in your wardrobe. Imagine when you were a kid, if you liked the fancy dress, um, dressing up box, which we had a little one at home and I loved being in that box all the time and think what you can do and just push your horizons because we can all be inspired by Iris and I'll be inspired by her as long as I live. Thanks for filming, Molly. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.